Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. Queen Elizabeth II was Britain's longest reigning monarch who left a legacy that will last for centuries. Her late majesty was on the throne for more than 70 years and her death in September 2022 prompted an outpouring of grief among millions. And both during her life and after her death, members of the Queen's family honored her through thoughtfully chosen jewels and accessories. As we reveal below, Queen Camilla, Catherine, Princess of Wales, and other relatives have all worn items once owned by Elizabeth, Belgian Sapphire Tiara. In November 2022, just two months after the Queen's death, Camilla wore her late mother-in-law's Belgian Sapphire Tiara during a state banquet held for South Africa's leader Cyril Ramaphosa. Camilla paired the piece with her elegant Bruce Oldfield gown and completed the look with a diamond-trimmed pendant containing a photograph of the Queen when she was young. The Belgian sapphire tiara was acquired to complement a Victorian-era sapphire necklace and earrings that were gifted by her father, King George VI, on her wedding day in 1947. In 1963, Queen Elizabeth purchased a 19th-century sapphire necklace that once belonged to Princess Louise of Saxe-Coburg and Gotha. As per her request, it was set on a frame and turned into a tiara. Queen Elizabeth's Japanese Pearl Choker The Japanese Pearl Choker was first loaned to Kate for the Queen and Prince Philip's 70th wedding anniversary celebrations in 2017. She has continued to wear it on a number of occasions, including the funeral of Philip in 2021 and the funeral of the late monarch in 2022, where she paired it with the Bahrain Pearl Drop earrings. It is believed that the Japanese government gifted pearls to Elizabeth who then commissioned a choker to be made by Gerard in the 1970s. The distinctive design features a diamond clasp that sits at the center of four strands of pearls. Princess Diana was also seen sporting the necklace during the state visit of Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands in 1982. Cordal Thompson Scallop Shell Brooch There are a few iconic jewels that have entered the royal family collection by chance. A prime example is the Cordal Thompson Scallop Shell Brooch, which a loyal subject had bequeathed to the Queen Mother. Partially designed by Sir Cordald Cortal Thompson, the son of a renowned Scottish inventor, the brooch was made in 1919 by the Goldsmiths and Silversmiths Company. LTD. It features a single round pearl, surrounded by rows of dazzling diamonds. Cortal Thompson left the brooch to his sister, the writer Winifred Hope Thompson, who passed it down to the Queen Mother. The Queen Mother showcased the design on countless occasions, including her 100th birthday in August 2000. The Queen then selected it for the wedding of her eldest granddaughter, Zara Phillips, to Mike Tyndall in 2011. Camilla wore it for an engagement during her visit to Kenya with King Charles last year. Girls of Great Britain and Ireland Tiara Camilla paid homage to the late Queen by wearing the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland Tiara for a reception and dinner in October 2023. The exquisite tiara dates back to 1893, when it was gifted to Mary of Tech on the occasion of her marriage to Prince George, Duke of York, later King George V. The headpiece is named after the Committee of Young Women who raised money for its creation through a subscription. It features festoon and fleur-de-lis motifs comprising diamonds set in silver and gold. Originally, it also incorporated 14 pearls. The piece can be worn as a tiara, a coronet, or a necklace. Queen Mary wore the tiara on many notable occasions, including the coronation of her father-in-law. King Edward VII, in 1902, Mary gifted her beloved tiara to her granddaughter, Princess Elizabeth, when she married Prince Philip in November 1947. Elizabeth reportedly referred to the diadem as Granny's tiara, and it became central to her wardrobe, both as a princess and as a queen. Cartier Halo Tiara The glittering Cartier Halo Tiara served as Kate Middleton's something borrowed for her wedding to Prince William in 2011. Queen Elizabeth received the headpiece, comprising 739 brilliant cut diamonds and 149 baguette diamonds, as a gift from her mother on her 18th birthday in 1944. Dating back to 1936, George VI commissioned Cartier to create the tiara using 